I know it's painful and hurtful to see things going haywire and it seems as if God is not doing anything and it's not working. But you need to get out of the way. You need to move out of God's working for you. You need to separate yourself from whatever it is so God can work for you. Stop delaying your process. Stop delaying your blessing. Stop delaying your transformation because the battle, it is not yours. By myself, it won't work. Lord, I need, I need your help. Yes, Lord, by myself. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good, my God. With every breath that I am able. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Will somebody worship the Lord with me today? God has been so good to us. The fact that you're seeing me, you're breathing, you're hearing my voice, that means you're alive and God is keeping you and his goodness just keeps running after you. It is your girl Cheryl. Welcome to Cheryl's Daily Affirmation. Oh, no, no, miss me. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. I have, you haven't seen me for about a week. But I must give the Lord thanks because his mercy never fails me and he keeps keeping me through it all. I just want to praise the Lord today and as we worship and as we go through this, the rest of this week, let us thank him, let us just praise him because indeed he's worthy of our praise. So how was your, how was the week? Want to see me, want to do, want to eat, want to drink? How was your Sunday dinner? How was everything guys? Listen, I had to take a few days to, um... I had to take a few days because I, with my health, guys, I have gained over 70 pounds the last couple of years. I think four years. So when I started working as a nurse, I gained a lot of weight. And it, to me, it became so detrimental to me because I started to become very fatigued, very lethargic. If I walk too hard, I get shortness of breath and I had to just ask God for strength and I started going to the gym. Yeah! I'm gonna insert a few pictures so you guys can see my progress along the way. But I had I started going to the gym last week, a week, a week before, last week I guess. It seems so long, guys. It is a rough gruesome training, but um, big up to Life Fitness 24 Hour Gym, and you know God bless you guys, you know, for you know guiding me through the process. And also I'm I'm trying to make it a life. So I changed God, guys, diet, exercise because I need it and my health depends on it. And so I have to do what's best for me. So preaching God's word is one. Giving my testimony, telling others about God is gone, but I have to make sure that I'm healthy to do so. So sorry guys, I'm missing it too. <laughs> and I'm just dropping in for today for a few minutes. Before I go, I just want to leave a few words with you. I'm going to work in a few hours, so I have to get ready so shortly. But before I go, I just want to let you guys know that some of us, or most of us, <laughs> are stumbling blocks to our own blessings because we're standing in the Lord's way. Let me say that again. Most of us are stumbling blocks to our own blessing because we are standing in the Lord's way and I want to let you know today in fact I want to let you know from last week because I did this affirmation last week and when I did it when I was ready to edit it for some reason the video was just blurry I wasn't seeing anything but that's okay God works and the devil can't do anything to stop because someone's gonna get the message right on time God wants you to know that you need to move Today you need to move and let him work. You have been standing in his way long enough. You have been trying to do things your way long enough. You have been trying to, to, to step in and, and trying to win the battle long enough. You need to move and let God work. The battle is not yours. I'm reminding somebody today that the battle, the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord. And I know sometimes it's rough. 
seeing things going haywire, seeing things not moving to where we want it to go, and seeing things just falling apart and not now going. And I said, God, what's going on? You say it would work? What's happening? But let me tell you that your timing is not God's timing. And God's timing is perfect. And sometimes when things now work the way we need to do, we feel like we need to step in, take over, and, and, and make things work. And when we do that, we not only impede God's blessing from coming to us, we delay it. You hear that? I'm going to say it again. We delay the blessing. Because when you step in God's way, you think God is going to work with you. No. Because God cannot work with you in that manner because we're selfish. And we have a heart that doesn't understand certain things. And so sometimes we do things out of anger, out of self, because things don't work out and we step in and we try to make things our way. So God is not going to work with you. And so you're delaying your blessing by doing things your way. So guess what? The sooner you get out of God's way, the better, because the faster he will work for you. So move today. Move today, Cherie. Move today. I'm speaking to myself as I minister to you. I minister to myself, Sherry, move today and let God work for you because I am nothing without him. Of him, I cannot do it. By myself, it will not work. God, I need your help. I love that song so much by Dion Skippy. By myself, I don't know if you guys know it. It won't work. Lord, I need, I need, I need, I need. Need your help. I love that song so much. I'm going to see if I can probably put it in the video if I can find it. But listen, man, we need to realize that. Listen, let, we are impeding our process. We're impeding our blessings. I know it's rough. Just give me two more minutes with you. I know it's hard. I know it's painful and hurtful to see things going haywire and it seems as if God is not doing anything and it's not working. But you need to get out of the way. You need to move out of God's working for you. You need to separate yourself from whatever it is so God can work for you. Stop delaying your process. Stop delaying your blessing. Stop delaying your transformation because the battle, it is not yours, brother. It is not your sister. But it is the Lord. Trust my God. When you can't see my hands at work, trust his heart. And know that he is working in your favor. Know that God is working in your favor. So step aside and allow God to take charge. Step aside and allow God to take over. Step aside and allow God to move. You don't ever want to, to, to stop standing his way now. The devil is telling you, listen man, no move. Because God not going with nothing. The devil tell us no move. Because things not going in your favor. No move. Because you're not know, saying my failure, you know. God never fails. Sorry. God never fails us. Like sometimes I think, what time is it? What God are you? What God are you that even when we don't deserve it? That even when we're standing in your way and we delay the process and we deserve to you know, get the blessing and we don't deserve to get the transformation. I know we don't we don't deserve to get the miracle. You wait on we till we learn we listen. You wait on us, God, till we learn. And when we move, God, you work even faster to make things work through. So trust God. Trust his process today. And let him work for you. Let us pray, mighty God. I just want to thank you today. I just want to worship you, mighty man of war, Jehovah Gibor. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shalom, we've come before you. There are so many, so other names we can call you by because you're all knowing you have so many names, God, because you're everything to us. Mighty God, and so today I want to talk to somebody who's impeding their blessing, who's not faithful enough to trust the process, who is losing faith at the brink of their breakthrough, at the brink of their silver line. I'm asking somebody today to trust you, mighty God to allow you to work to step aside to move and allow you to take over and allow you to do for them what they cannot even do for themselves so we bless your name we big you up god and we claim the blessings jesus may you just work god work for us allow us to deny self and trust you and just move and allow your spirit and your work and your power to show the devil that you are in control. We bless your name and we big you up. These are not the mercies I ask. 
amen i am and amen thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for tuning in and i pray that you may receive a blessing from the lord god has been so good and i just want to thank you want to bless him and i just pray that you are encouraged just continue loving each other loving the lord and just have a blessed day signing out from your girl sure god will take care of you love you Shout again, here we go!